What's up guys, Ivory. So this video will be pertaining on how to get gems, both free to play and pay to win strategies. Um, first thing you do if you're a new account is you will want to go here, redeem code, type in your code, OP666, OP777, OP888. Those should all give you about a value of 400 gems. So that's, so that's a start. Um, the next way that you're easily going to be getting gems um, is based off of just doing story mode. Um, one thing you're going to want to do, idle time gives you gems, but it doesn't give you too much. Quick battle, though, it gives you gems. Like I said, it spends more gems than it's giving you. So you have to also think that's not giving you as much. But voyage, one way to do voyage is if you're not pulling the grip pools such as um, these but don't go for these only if it's a five star shard then go for it something like this if you're not getting these or if you're not getting the if you're not getting the, the tokens or the faction summons then don't go then yeah, my best bet is to just go for gems if you get something like this that's good but yeah refresh it just go for gems that's gonna be one of the easiest way you can get gems 24 7 and while you're idle and then you log on you should if you're lucky 24,000 of this 30 gems you can stack it up to get around maybe 500 to 700 gems when you log back on at the end of the five five hour period um that's definitely one of the best ways to get it being a free to play and uh, even a pay to win um story mode the only thing that sucks about being a free to play it's not being able to get gems from doing this but if you're a pay to win i recommend buying this buying this 19 dollars pack because you're gonna get a huge amount of gems from this at the end of the day and then the tier 2 pack it gives you more gems as well from completing it but the only thing about the tier 2 pack that you have to understand is that the leveling takes longer because of the amount of xp you get daily as you see here i'm not even close to the level i need to be to do the next story that might take me about three to four days average another way to get gems is um arena based on your ranking so say uh your top of course being in the top three is getting you the most gems but um if you're not as strong being in the top 50 is where you're gonna want to be uh, just 50 gems daily if you're one of those person people that are free to play those 50 gems if you're saving it daily you know it's not much but it's still better than nothing um even top top 50 here is still better than nothing at all right <clears throat> oh and also that's uh, another reason why you should definitely focus on arena but i don't really focus excuse me on arena as much as i should but that's just me um, another way to get gems pretty frankly is by stronghold. I believe this is just by being in a strong guild or clan. So this event you go here. You can, once you're, I believe, once you hit level 40, this would unlock. Basically, just by the ranking of your clan, you get something good. Um, usually every server would have on average three to five clans that are really strong. So you're gonna want to get in one of those just to. For one, get the clan instance, and for two, get the gems. Uh, remember, this event isn't always repeating 24 hours. Um, it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's what you have to remember. So those are the three days that this event comes. Um, just trying to see if there's any other stuff in there. Clans that get you gems, I believe. That's the only thing on clan that's gonna get you gems. Um, also, if you're free to play, ways to save your gems. Um, even though you might think it's the best to donate this to get, you know, the high, the more clan instance, it's better to just go for this just so you're saving your gems daily. And um, also, I recommend you don't spend too much on quick battle. Maybe once or twice, just because it's harder for you to accumulate gems. Um, now, if you're a pay to win, what you want to do for sure is buy this pack um, because every every ten levels you go getting gems and what happens with that every 10 level is that you're gonna get these benefits down it starts off as a thousand eighty eight so you're gonna get a thousand a thousand eighty eight then every 10 level you go you get 500 every 10 level you get 500 gems so basically 
these corresponds so you're getting a 500 on top of that so basically every 10 levels with that is a thousand five hundred gems and then it starts becoming two thousand gems every 10 levels to two thousand five hundred and that's the and that's the end of that um i don't want you to be discouraged on free to play player free to play because every time you clear i believe 10 floors on impel down it's 150 gems um if you clear let's see i don't know if this is every five floor excuse me i'm kind of tired <laughs> I, but it might be about every i can't say for sure this is every five floor but i know for clearing on floors in infinite trials you get 150 gems so that's another thing to why you want to focus on PVE at the start just for getting gems if you're one of those people that are free to play um if you're also trying to focus on player versus player um getting reaching points certain points in arena it starts out lower like a thousand three hundred thousand two hundred then it starts going higher reaching certain points in arena would get you more gems um by doing this it's going to be harder if you're not one of the strongest competitors um in the game so it's definitely going to be harder for those who are free to play um, other ways you can get gems, see, definitely by doing your weeklies. So once you get to 75, and then yeah, once you get to 75, you get 200 gems. Remember, this resets every week, so that's 200 gems. Um, by hopefully, if you get lucky with this stuff, which you know, owning ruins, getting a seven star hero, you get 100 gems. Uh, warlord hero like just look just certain challenges that you do can also get you gems so these are other ways that you get gems just from here um daily just logging in every day gets you gem doing a basic summon any type of summons get basically 40 gems a day using quick battle now this um the 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 switch the using well, okay, let's see. I think you can use quick battle. Is it three? I think it's three or four times for free. But then after that, it's cost gems. So I don't really think that's worth it unless I'm wrong and it's five times for free. If that's the case, then definitely do your quick battle so you can get gems. Participate in Stronghold. So this is every Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And that's basically all the ways you can get gems from just logging in. But you're guaranteed 40 gems from logging in. Um, the only thing about quick battle that I say is worth it is that it gives you more voyage and after you use your voyage you get from your idle time I didn't mean to claim that after you use the voyage you get from the idle time you can go to quick battle use some quick battles and then claim more gems that's basically a way to use it definitely it doesn't matter pay to win free to play that's definitely a way to use it um, other ways I recommend um, if you're pay to win um, I wouldn't really recommend buying this unless it's like a cheaper version if, this, if it's a dollar for like 300 gems then go ahead but the daily first top up if you top up a dollar not only are you getting the 60 gems you're getting 200 gems so basically you can be getting 260 gems per day but a better way to go about topping up is say you wanted to go here where is it Oh, my game is buggy a little bit. I'm sorry for that. I'm trying to figure out where is it exactly. Um, oh, you go here on the extra days. You just all you have to do is top up a dollar. Basically, you will get 500 gems on. You mean 400 gems on this day, 460 on this day, 460 this day, uh, 360 this day. So you know, just the days where you see gems and you want to top up a dollar, so you can do, so you can get double the gems. That's another way to go about getting gems. And remember, I said this guide is both for pay to win and um, free to play players. That but both players can be smart in their own rights. Um, now we're going more into the aspects of a pay to win. So when it comes to which bounty is the best overall and in getting gems, I would have to say that that this one is the best overall when it comes just to which one is better so if you wanted to spend your money on one of the three i definitely recommend going for this one now it seems like 
this one and this one give the same value well nope they don't this one gives more value in faction summons where i'm trying to show you guys oh that's for free no, I don't have to unlock. where this one would give more value this one gives you factions it gives you gems it gives you shards it gives you a title and it gives you a selection box so this one is definitely probably one of the most valuable ones to buy in my opinion and it's definitely one of the ones that i would go for if i had to pick out of the three so that's definitely something you should look for when you're free to play wait till you get this one before you buy any of them the rest of them um if you have money to spare of course this one isn't too bad um it's the selection box is kind of it's definitely worse than the last one and it's definitely worse than the story mode if i had to pick maybe i would get this one just for the faction summons itself and it looks like it gets more gems because this one doesn't give you any one and this doesn't doesn't give you a thousand but it's still giving you gems and it only gives you like two purple ruins which really isn't the best but it's okay um and events, if we look into certain events, <laughs> sorry, something like this, these events. So basically, I believe this event is going to come. It's going to be one of your first week where you're going to have to exchange belly. So it's going to be an exchange belly event. It's what it's going to be called when you exchange belly. Basically, what happens is every time you exchange belly, you go up in ranking. The second, second week is going to be one called quick battle, where when you do quick battle, Right, you're gonna have more quick battle choices. Then the third week is gonna be a voyage one, where, where every time you do voyage, so on and so on. Now this week, there's one for adventure. Basically, every guard that you defeat in adventure counts as one point, basically, right? And it goes towards a ranking system. And it's the same thing with belly; it counts as one point. Same thing with voyage; it counts as one point. Basically, that's how these events work. But the ranking system, where you're gonna want to be ranked, um, if possible try to definitely get within the top 10 um the only reason i say if possible is because <sighs> this event's definitely going to cater towards those who are higher vip just for the simple fact that when you're higher vip you can exchange for more belly when you're higher vip you can go for more voyage when you're higher vip you can do more quick battles now the only one that doesn't apply based on your vip level is this event now definitely look out for this one because defeating adventures is just facing people in adventure and killing the guards and the reason this one doesn't apply to vip is because in adventure there's a hard mode hard mode now once you go to the hard mode there's this coliseum that most people tend to fight which gives you a free um character with a high bounty to use for adventure and then there's the boss which he doesn't count he doesn't count as a guard right and a lot of people tend to face the guard because he's not a guard so you have to think that okay you have to think so you have to look at it like okay now this is the event that i have a chance of actually winning because i'm not able to challenge hard mode so even though in aspect it might look bad because you're not able to defeat the boss in hard mode at least you're still able to get you know something worth of just doing the doing the event in itself right so like i said try to get within the rankings of here it's definitely worth it so those are really all the ways to get gems for free and paying definitely um especially if you're this is five dollars fourteen dollars um they go towards your vip level but for 30 days you're gonna be getting 450 150 gems i definitely think it's worth it just because it's 30 days um these packs aren't really and eh, some of them aren't too bad some of them aren't too shabby if anything this is the only pack that I would really recommend buying when it pops up um, these packs. It's good to be able to skip Adventure and Glory. That's really about it. The two more quick battles, it's good if you want to level up. Um, but that's really everything about how you can get gems as quickly as possible leveling up. Remember, that's definitely one way. And I think... I. I think that really explains everything on how to get gym on both sides of it, pay to win and free to play. But thank you for tuning in. I'm out.